Hi everyone. So this video we're going to use pedigrees to start solving some problems with genetics. So the big idea is that pedigrees can be used to find out more information. find out information and we need a few bits of knowledge to be able to solve problems. The first one is just how do we draw pedigrees and that's the thing we learned about recently. So we need to know what pedigrees look like and what all the different parts mean. So here's an example of a pedigree up here showing three different families. Generation one, sorry, three different generations. Generation one, the grandparents. Generation two, the parents. And generation three, the grandchildren. The next thing we need to remember is that Genes can be found on a normal chromosome. So if we look over here at this karyogram, remember the normal chromosomes are any of the first 22 pairs. So all of these ones. And those chromosomes are called autosomes because they come in pairs. So genes can be on autosomes, so then we'll say that the trait is an autosomal trait. Or genes can be on one of the sex chromosomes, the X and the Y chromosome. For now, we're only concerned about genes that are on the X chromosome. So genes can be on autosomes, or they can be on the X chromosome. And that's important because if we're talking about a gene that's on an autosome, so we might have a gene that's on chromosome 7 here, remember because organisms have two whole copies of each chromosome, you're going to have two copies of that gene because you've got two chromosome 7s. But if we're talking about a gene that's on a, the X chromosome, then this individual, because they're a male, they have an X and a Y chromosome. So they only have one copy of that particular allele. And that's important when it comes to passing on that allele to their children. So we need to remember that that autosomal genes have two copies of that allele, but X genes on the X chromosome, and we call those X linked. And let's get rid of this for now. X-linked genes, the person might have two copies for females, because females have two X chromosomes, or one copy if you're a male, because just like this person, you've got an X and a Y, so you only have one chromosome that's carrying that gene. So we need to figure out, is that gene on the autosome or the X or the X chromosome? For this video, we're just looking at autosomal genes firstly. The third thing to remember 
is we need to be able to use Punnett squares to know how genes are passed on. So how are alleles of a gene passed from parent to children? And we need to be really good at drawing Punnett squares and even figuring them out in our head. to be able to solve these problems. So that's the base the basic information you need to know.